What is going on guys? I am the White Guy and we're picking right back up where we left off. We're on part 18 of the MXGP MX2 career and we switch back over to the KX125 today. And we're at Assen in the Netherlands and supposedly, I, I remember reading somewhere that the whole MX2 career thing only runs 18 races. And this is part 18 so this would be the 18th race. So this may or may not be the end of the series here. I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen after we finish off these two, these two races here. We shall see how that goes. And um, if you guys have any suggestions, I, I again, I don't really know if this is the end of the series or not. It could be. It could, could There could be 20 more races for all I know. I haven't gotten that far in the game yet. But uh, if you want to see more, if you want to see me do the MX1 career mode or just stop the stop after the MX2 career mode and only like just do multiplayer or their other fun stuff like when I was like that front flip video kind of deal and just only do multiplayer in that, or if I should just. Um, Stop with the game completely. You don't want to see it anymore, which I, I doubt is going to be the consensus. Or if I should like just cover DLC and updates and types of that stuff. Because I tried to do some um, while I was sitting down to record these next few videos to finish off the MX2 career series. I tried to do the uh, Supercross or Arena Cross multiplayer racing, but there's nobody doing it online because I feel like most people probably aren't going to buy it. Because in my opinion, it is not worth five dollars for that one tiny track. It's it's just not worth it. It's kind of ridiculous, but um. That, that's the deal behind that. We may have another video coming out on the Supercross track just so we can get more than one because, I don't know, I feel like I'd, I'd probably want to play that track more than once if I paid five dollars for it, but you're not allowed, you can't use two strokes on it, you can't use custom bikes or custom skins on it, you have to use the factory teams on it, which I personally do not understand at all why they decide that you have to use all of the factory teams, you're not allowed to have your own stuff on the track, and I, I don't understand the logic behind that decision, but um, that, that's, um, that being said, oh, that was a that was a good bump in the corner right there. Let's, let's uh, try and... Yeah, there you go. There's a, there's a good turn right there. Oh, this was good. I just don't understand the logic behind some of their decisions. Like, you can't... That little rewind button, you have to have bound to your R1 or right bumper button. You can't rebind the, the replay for whatever reason. They just decide you have to lock it down so you can't have your rear brake on that. I, like some of the decisions behind this game, I, they just make no sense. And they're, they're not done to the benefit of the consumer, which in my opinion is because there really isn't any competition for this game at all. It's like I would say MX vs. ATV is competition, but MX vs. ATV Supercross Encore is broken and it, it's just... I haven't touched that game in a long time. If I ever do play it, it's just to make a couple videos on it here and there. Cause it's just not any... I just don't have any fun with it. It's just... It, I, it's... I think that... I don't know if it's a flop in terms of sales, but... In my opinion, it, it flopped hard for actual being a game worth playing. It's just no fun. Like they, they just it, whatever they did to that, it's just the game was ruined, and I did not enjoy it at all. There, there, there were a couple of bits that got interesting, but so much of the game was just broken. It didn't really work on PC, and the way they're doing the DLC is just splitting off. The, the, like the very, I don't know how it's like on consoles, but there is nobody playing that game on PC anymore. And the way they did the DLCs, it just it just broke apart the community and people that have it and people that don't. So if you if you like you say you buy whatever their overpriced track DLC is, and then you want to play that on this is all MX versus ATV Supercross Encore, by the way. But if you like buy their DLC tracks and then say you want to play those in multiplayer, well guess what? You can't because 99% of the time people aren't going to have it. Or the people that do have it aren't going to bother to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the list to find your specific lobby that you're in. Like, there's so many different sites. There's, like, MX-125, MX-250, MX-450. There's a bunch of, like, there's too many multiplayer lobbies, and there's no quick match button, which is one thing they need. So, like, if you, if you want to do, like, one, a specific kind of racing, then you have to, like, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the list, find that lobby, and enter it. Then 90% of the time, whoever comes online is just going to hit the very first thing on the list to find a game. Whereas if they put a quick match button in there like Reflex had, if you're in something oddly specific, chances are somebody else looking to play online, like me, is not going to really give it. They're not going to give a damn. It's like, okay, yes, there's a lobby. Let's play online. Let's go. I don't care whether it is. Just play the game online. Let's have fun. But instead, you have to, the, the, the multiplayer, the way they set up the multiplayer in that game is just broken and it's just not working and I'm not surprised it's not working. Like, the reflex multiplayer, the way that the whole lobby system and that was set up is the way to go. The way they have it now is just not, it just doesn't work from, it just doesn't condone competitive racing and multiplayer. It's just not very good in my opinion and it needs to change, but realistically I don't see that changing because... What what I've seen from uh, Nordic Games or Rainbow, whoever made that, is just they're milking people for money off based on previous games in the franchise. 
It's like, oh, well, we know a lot of people don't like this, so instead of changing it, here's a ton more DLC. Go buy, 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 buy more DLC, buy, buy, buy. It seems like they're just milking people for money at that point, based on the whole people having good expectations from previous games in the franchise, but, um... I, I, I don't know what's down, I can't really say that for sure, because I don't really know what's going on on the back end and all that. If they were a little bit more transparent with what with, uh, what their, what was going on behind the scenes there, that might be a little bit easier to know for sure, but for looking in from the outside, it looks like they're just milking people for money, and I, I don't know. I don't know how true it is, but that, that seems to be, it's not even just them, that's the case with like a lot of games today, it's more of, it's less of make something people want to enjoy, and more of, Okay, make this game come out. What can we possibly do to suck as much money out of people as we possibly can to make for get out of this game? And I, I don't know. That's this is a whole other rant. We just got second place there, and we probably need to take a win at some point in here so we can not lose reputation points and make sponsors happy with us. So we definitely we need to pass up hurtlings. So we need to take hurtlings in the next race for sure. So there's okay. We didn't lose any reputation yet. We're still gaining credits. So we'll have a lot to put into the next bike we pick up. But um, the whole 125 thing might make it a little bit difficult to catch hurlings if they're on four strokes, because the, the 125s aren't really... Two strokes in this game just aren't competitive with the four strokes in the same class as them. It's just... You just get blown out by, by the four strokes if the people on the four strokes remotely know what they're doing. But uh, there's some more starting gate. More starting gate, which kind of do need shots at the starting gate. 15 second board. There we go. One of those may be the thumbnail for this video. You will find out in the future, though. We're gonna break the camera again, let's find out. Nope. Oh, that was a, we just got a terrible start right there. Just absolutely terrible. Dead last off the start. All right, so we'll, we'll do, we're doing our best here to try and run them down. Okay, Benedict Parnold already went down right there off the start, and he better be behind. He's not even behind us. He went down and he's still ahead of us. That's kind of ridiculous. That is, I, I, I just don't understand how this game works sometimes. So it's need to start slinging down some passes quickly, though, to get ahead of the field before it starts to split off. Oh, oh, we almost ran off track a little wide right there, put it back. I, this does seem like a track that could be the end of the series here, though. I don't know, we'll see. I will see. That'd be a neat thumbnail right there if we could get, like, a slow motion of everybody's bike going across the line, but we unfortunately can't. So we're just doing our best to run through the pack here, and past the Monster Energy Kawasaki's. And through the iPhone thing, which is apparently is just like some brand of Japanese oil, as far as I can tell. I, I'm not really sure, because like, that's the other thing with this game. All these, like I once said in the last video, there was like that ISIS banner. They're not the ISIS banner, the ISIS sponsor looking thing. And now there's like all these sponsors, they just don't know what that means. It pulls me out of the game a little bit because I know none of these. It's all a bunch of European crap that I don't know anything about. I know I know Fiat, they make, they make American trucks now, and I know Fiat. I, 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 I hopefully their trucks come with spare transmissions. Apparently they still don't, but, you know, to each their own. If you, if you want to drive a Fiat, go ahead. Just to get the little shit talking and to piss off some of the some of the people and make some uh, interesting angry commenters, as we, as we tend to do, because it drives the conversation. And that guy just did a really, just endo the crap out of that. Did a Ronnie Mac coming back out of the track, as we, but he's not gonna, we're gonna pass him up pretty good. Almost got the cheater line on the inside right there, and I think those are supposed to be whoops, maybe? Not really entirely sure. Maybe they're rollers, but I, 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 don't, I don't know at what point does a roller become a whip. I, I don't know. We've debated this before. All right, there we go. Maybe it's like uh, the roller becomes a whip when you can't backflip it. MX versus ATV Supercross. I, I don't know. Cause I remember in, in that game, you can you can literally backflip whoops, which is kind of ridiculous. And again, somebody else in first place just went down, and they're still just chugging away at first place. But uh, we can just seriously start laying down some more pass. Okay, there's Hurlings. We have to get ahead of him. We'll try and make a... Oh, we slammed him out and shut down his passing line right... No. Oh, your bike's just faster than me. That's not fair. You're getting shut down. Oh, endoed off the track. Come on. Endoed straight off the track. That was kind of... I'm glad we built up the points lead early on. That was kind of ridiculous. That we did that. That's... Uh, I didn't realize you could do stoppies in this game, but we just did that off the track. That's... Uh, you learn something new every day, and today I learned that you can do stoppies in MXGP3, apparently. Even when you're not touching the front brake and you're only touching the rear brake, you can still do stoppies pretty well, apparently. We just need to make up a lot of pass dunks. We fell back to 10th out of, like, 4th right there. This is actually being a struggle now. These 125s are hard to keep up with, with the 250s. You really gotta, like, actually hit all the lines just right to be able to make this work. And even when you do hit the lines just right, that they should literally have faster bikes than you being on 250s. This is just a struggle. Trying really hard again. They're just running. They're out running me in a straight line, and there's nothing you can really do about that. Other than the, the bike apparently deciding it doesn't want to shift up into fifth gear when it's running at the red line in fourth. 
Oh, we launched off the track again. That is gonna... This is just... Yeah, we're throwing the race away. This is it. At least we got the points lead built up before this race, because this is, this is just brutal. We're just getting destroyed right now. Alright, come on. Let's, let's make some more passes. Let's try, let's try and at least get a, get into the single digits for positions, and they'll, they'll be okay with that, because we have a pretty... like We have like 100 points lead built up in the overall championship right now, so we, we can afford to lose a few here and there. Which just seems like what we've been doing more recently, trying to build up some more drama to make it a little bit more exciting so we're not just running away from the AI. Alright, there we go. That was that was a that was a good corner. That was a really good corner. Alright, we got if we pass these three guys, we should be in single digit positions. Oh, we caught a really nice rut right there. We got it's a good turn. It's a tenth. We need to pass come on, just get get me into single digits. Get me into single digits. Now we're just, we just can't even catch this guy. They're just faster than us flat out in a straight line. There's nothing we can do about that except for trying to take the inside line in the corners and lay down passes. Okay, we're back up to back into single digits. All right, can we get a pass for eighth made? Perhaps we'll find out. We could get an interesting shot of like four people going across the finish line at once, or we could try and get more positions. We hooked a rut through that corner. That's going to help us a lot. We could actually send that tabletop all the way on over. Looks like we may be able to lay down a pass right here if we can. Oh, ooh, that might work, this might work, this might work. Gonna have to run that super wide. Yes, okay, we made it through with that. We're up to sixth now. We might end up losing some reputation points on this race. I'd be willing to bet, though. Almost hooked a right, right there, but I think we blew it out. Come on, pass him on the inside. Nope, not gonna happen. So we'll just hopefully we can make a run for the finish line here and at least get sort of close to him by the time we cross, but we came back to sixth place. I'll be okay with that for now. There's a little whippersnapper over the finish line right there. And it stays like that unless I put the stake back, doesn't it? Yep, and there's a bunch of other people going across behind us. Alright, how did we shake out in the overall? We came in fourth. Do we lose reputation points? Yeah, 734 to 619 points. We can afford to lose a few. We're losing reputation though, which is kind of unfortunate. All of those abilities just clicked up another notch, and is that the end of the series? Season information, uh, MX2 results. How do I, how do I, is there a calendar? Oh, here we go, calendar. Okay, so what are we on right now? Um, okay, so we just did, which one did we just did? Rider Challenge, Benedict Parnold for uh, Assen, Charlotte, we did that. We, oh wait, no we didn't, we just did Switzerland? I want to say we just did that, and then we uh, no, we just did that once. So we have Charlotte and Glen Helen left in the series, so there's going to be a 20-part series. There's two more parts to come. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.